Hey guys, this is TL Triple XS Racer here. Um, like I promised, I would do a video tutorial. I know this is kind of very quick, or it's taken me a little while, but I just got in everything. Um, right here, I mounted the Swift Tech Micro Res Reservoir onto my Antec 902. What I basically just did is you can see kind of back into here. Sorry about the lighting, but I drilled two holes just with a Dremel. Um, I just measured just about the size of the, between the holes and just drilled them, mount, laying this on top of a table like so. Um, and then I just figured it's the best place and my side panel can fit on as well. Um, and then what we have here is I just finished taking the tubes off from the pump and the radiator. Um, basically what um, on the forms on overclock they uh, I forget who said but basically you have the, the plastic tubing that goes over the barbs here and what you do is you cut just above where this thin piece where coarse air I guess compressed this tubing you cut there and then you slice it down the side where the barb would go fit through and then it's a little difficult so I, just, I used a knife um, a, a Dremel would be a little faster just to cut through this but then maybe use a knife to slice it along the edge um, that would be the best because you don't want to damage these um, so that's how you get the tubes off of the radiator. You want to do this first and then drain out the liquid from inside from the radiator and then try to get as much out from what's left over in the pump. Then next what you would do is holding from this this angle this is where the tubes are. You're going to take out this screw and then you're going to take out that screw right there if you can see it it's the light shining through you're going to take out those two then you'll be able to take off the cover of the pump then from there you're going to see this screw and washer in there with the tubes coming out you're going to want to unscrew that then you'll be able to take the whole barbs and the tubes out. Then in order to, you're going to do just like what you did with the radiator, cut off. These are the barbs that are on the pump. You're going to want to cut where this plastic uh, tubing slides over. Cut it from the tubes and then slice it down the length of it. You just want to just make sure you don't uh, compress any of the barb. I think they're plastic or aluminum. Can't tell. Um, but that's what I've done so far. And I've somewhat pre cut to an estimated length of my tubing. It's a one quarter inch inner diameter and three eighth outer diameter. Um, you can get that. I bought my tubing at Home Depot. It's about 250 or so. Um, and then I bought the anti-kink coils. I bought that off of performance PCs as well. It's only about 250 or so as well. Um, I would say that. So I'm gonna soon next would be for me to mount these onto the barbs and onto the reservoir to kind of get an estimated length. Cut them to cut them shorter if I needed. I gave it some extra slack. Um, what I've also been going to do is I bought a Scythe Ultra K's 3000 that I figured is the most CFM and good air uh, pressure so it moves air. Then I also bought um, these shrouds. They're UV lit. Um, 
they're just only they're only an inch thick, so it's a 25 millimeter thickness. I bought those off of Sidewinder. They're only 250 each, so I bought two of those so I can have a push and pull shrouds on both sides, which would eliminate the dead spot. Um, so really, I've gotten that set up. So once I get the tubings on, I will shoot up another video. Um, I'm also planning to lap the CPU and the H50. But anyways, that is what I have so far. And I'm, again, you're going to want a quarter inch inner diameter tubing, three eighths inch outer diameter, because it will be able to fit in here easier without any problems, and it's going to be a tighter fit. Um, as far as reservoir, the Swift Tech Micro Res, and then quarter inch barbs as well. I didn't use the one half or the three eighths, just so that all the barbs are the same size, and I don't have to have any compression fit in, or uh, I'm not sure what it's called. You it, from a half inch or a three eighths down to a quarter fitting. You know, I won't need any of that, so it's just a cleaner look as well. Um, so I guess I'll be doing another video as I progress through this um, and hopefully it all works out so thanks for watching everyone and if you have any questions just feel free to ask and until next time